Herschel Supply is a very popular brand, but I've never used one. Let's check out the Herschel Supply Buckingham backpack and see if it's any good. What's up guys, my name is George and I like backpacks. I'm here today with the Herschel Supply Buckingham backpack and this is a design that we've seen a lot throughout history. It's a very classic design with the flaps in the front, big flap on the top. So let's check out this bag from the bottom to the top. First of all, this bag is made out of 100% polyester from like I said, from the bottom to the top. And polyester is not the best material to use on backpacks. Of course, it's not the Corduras, it's not the ballistic nylons that we see in, in more high-end bags or the wax canvases. So this is a nice mid-range budget type of material that's on this backpack. Herschel says this backpack can take a 15 inch laptop and the measurements on this backpack are 18 and a half inches tall, it's 12.25 inches wide, and it can span out to eight inches. This is a 33 liter bag, so it's on that line for a larger everyday carry bag or a travel bag, a minimal travel bag. This backpack actually retails at 109. So let's go to the bottom and see what this thing is all about. Is it worth 109? Let's go, let's find out. So right here in the front, you've got two pockets and they're identical pockets right here. And they're held together with some magnetic clips. And they do say Herschel on the magnetic clips. So I really like that, it's a nice little feature. The pockets themselves are pretty large, very deep pockets. So you can fit a lot of, you know, quick grab, everyday carry items. Like I could think of putting like your ID in this, you know, your headphones if you have smaller, you know, head buds, earbuds, not head buds, earbuds. I stuck a little Kershaw chill in there. So you can stick a flashlight, whatever you wanna dump in these two front dump style pouches, they will be pretty accessible for you. Down here in the bottom of these dump pouches, you do get a little bit of Herschel branding. It says Herschel Supply, the finest quality. We'll see about that as we do the review. Now let's move around to the side of this backpack. We actually have two water bottle pockets, and as you can see, these water bottle pockets are pretty deep. So I was able to stick in my Camelback chute inside of this water bottle pocket. I, I could see this pocket being used for water bottles, you know, quick grab items, maybe an umbrella that you wanna stick in the side of this bag. Very helpful, very useful. Again, I gotta talk about this material. When you feel this material, it's pretty stiff. It's kind of uh, coarse on your, on your fingers when you're interacting with it. And you could just tell that this is not the most quality of materials on this backpack. But let's move on, let's not harp on that too much. Let's move around to the back of this backpack and check it out. So on the back right here, we really don't have too much going on. We got some regular shoulder straps up here. What I do like about these shoulder straps are that they're very wide and they're padded decently. There is some venting on the back with some mesh, so that's pretty good. Grab handle on the top is just a regular piece of nylon webbing. Nothing special there at all. Very standard type of material there. Now on this back panel right here, we see that Herschel didn't do too much at all. There's no mesh on the back, really no raised air channels. They did put like some stitching here as if there, that was gonna be some type of air movement. But in reality, this bag is gonna lay on your back and collect a lot of heat in the summertime. We're in the winter time now, so yeah, you don't have to worry about it so much, but I would have liked to seen some type of venting on the back panel of this bag. Now on the top of this larger flap right here in the front, you do have a quick access pocket. The zippers on this bag are YKK. They're a lower quality YKK zipper, but they are still a YKK zipper, so they should last up and hold up pretty well over time. This dump pouch up here is pretty large. You can stick a lot of different items in there. Again, another quick access pocket for you if you're on the go. 
Now let's go into this main section of this bag. Again, we have these magnetic clips right here. It's kind of like a fake out. It looks like it's like a buckle type of style clip, but actually it's just a little button clip with a little magnet attached. So that makes it a little bit more convenient for you to get in and out of the bag itself. So when you flip that flap over, you're greeted by a drawstring enclosure, a regular drawstring enclosure. And then inside, it's pretty massive. One thing I don't like about Herschel, one thing I do like is high-vis lining. One thing that I don't like is this ugly red stripe lining that Herschel seems to use in a lot of their bags. And that's kind of why I've kind of stayed away from Herschel as a brand is because I know it's got this corny ass lining inside and I don't want to go into the office and open my bag and it's like, what is that? You know, what, what what's going on inside of your bag, George? Do you have a clown show inside of your bag? So that's kind of what's up with this. I got some shoes in there, some, some New Balance. So I have a size 12 foot, you guys can see those, these fit in there with no problem. I have no doubt that you probably could pack this bag out for a week of travel with no problem with some packing cubes or something like that. Pretty, pretty wide open space in there. What else do I have in there? I have some headphones. These are some mono price headphones, very cheap headphones, but they're good to go. If I break them, I don't really care about them. What else do I have in here? I got a first aid kit. Always gotta have a first aid kit. Anything else? Oh, I got a little tech organizer. One thing that's missing out of this bag is an admin panel. So you do gonna you are gonna need some type of tech organizer inside of the bag. So just keep that in mind. There's really no other organization inside of this bag. So you do have a laptop sleeve. I use that term loosely because it's just really a piece of their nylon interior with a elastic top. It's not suspended off the bottom at all. So if you stick a laptop in this bag, you're gonna, need, you're gonna need to be sure that you put it inside some type of case or sleeve because if you drop this bag, it's definitely gonna, your laptop is definitely gonna make impact with the ground. Inside the bag, like I said, just some regular polyester lining, very bright. You do get a little bit of, you know, Herschel left a little message inside of the bag. It says, welcome to Herschel. Eh, that's pretty decent, I like that. Little unique feature, but the main thing about this bag is the space. There's a large dump pouch where you can stick all the items that you wanna carry for a day or for a week. In summary guys, I'm really not a fan of Herschel Supply products from the things that I've seen thus far. They use some lower or some mid-grain materials in their products and the designs themselves are not thought all the way through. The look and the style of them is what catches a lot of people's attention but I need some functionality as well. So I would say 109 for this bag, uh, I would probably pass. I would look for something that's got a little bit more quality, better zippers, a admin panel, a laptop sleeve that's actually raised up off of the bottom. And I just think that they could do a lot more. As it stands right now, I gotta say, nah, Herschel. The camo color in the front is attractive, but you're not gonna get my $109. Thanks for watching George Define, guys. I got more backpacks coming up. Stay tuned to giveaways. Hit me in the comments. Send me an email. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. What's up, guys? My name is George and I like backpacks. I'm here today with the Herschel Supply Buckingham Backpack. This is a very, Eh, not unique, but a very heritage. We've seen, what's up guys? My name is George and I like backpacks.